Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Mike Davies and in this video I'll be showing you a simple trick for creating more realistic seamless patterns inside a GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.22 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, I have tons of GIMP and Inkscape tutorials on here. You can also get more by becoming a premium member. And I have tons of free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And as I mentioned, you can get more by becoming a DMD Premium Member, and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. So to speed things up here, I'm gonna dive right into the trick itself and then we're going to expand upon it, give some details about the trick as we get further into the tutorial. So if I hit Shift B on my keyboard, that will grab my bucket fill tool and under fill type, I have it set to pattern fill. The actual pattern is the maple leaves pattern and you can always decrease or increase the size of the thumbnails using the minus or plus icons, but I'll go with the maple leaves. And I'll come over here to my composition. So when I click inside of here, this is the usual way of filling in a pattern fill. And it doesn't look great. You could see all of the squares, all of the seams of the pattern. So it looks super fake. So I'll hit Control Z to back up. The trick is to go to Edit, Fill with Pattern Seamless. And here you'll see it says Seamlessly Fill with a Pattern Using Synthesis. So here is our pattern. I can click and hold on here to get a bigger preview of this. And you can always click browse and look through here to find a different pattern. I recommend going with any of the textured patterns. Those work really well in here. So the maple leaves one, and you've got a few that are related to stone. This one's called crack. This one is going to be a leopard pattern. So we'll get more into these a little bit later on. Let's just go with the maple pattern here. And I'll hit close and I'll click OK. All right, so there you can see the result of that filter. So the pattern looks a lot more realistic here. I'll hold Control and zoom in with my mouse wheel so the leaves do a better job of overlapping one another and you don't see the square for each instance of the pattern. So one downside of this filter is that it is an older filter, which means it is going to take a bit longer. Also, it's not a Gaggle filter, so you can't do a live preview of it and see what it looks like before you apply it. Finally, you cannot run this filter on transparency, so you do have to have pixels below it in order to have the filter show up with the pattern, but I'll show you a workaround for that in a second. But first, let's look at some examples of this. So this is going to be the first one we just did. So as you can see, obviously, you can see each instance of the pattern tiles. So this is with that seamless pattern. Let's come over here to another example. This is the leopard pattern. So as you can see, let me hit Control Shift J and that's going to center that up. You can see the lines here, which are basically just going to be seams. If I come over here though, this is going to be that seamless pattern filter. So this creates a much more realistic result, at least a more seamless or blended result. And let's come over here. We also have a stone pattern. So again, you can see each instance of this starting over. But come over here, this is going to be that seamless filter. So in this case, it looks like a realistic stone, like walkway sort of thing. And let's come over here. This one is tree bark. So this looks awful here without the seamless filter. Let's come over here though. This looks pretty realistic. And finally, if I come over here, this is called moon landing. So this is supposed to look like the surface of the moon. You can see each new instance here of the tiles. And if I come over here, this is what this looks like with the seamless filter. So again, edit, fill with pattern seamless, and that's how you're gonna get this filter. So let me just demonstrate here, coming over to this composition, this is a stock photo I got from Unsplash. I will include a link to the photo in the description of the video. But what I'll do with this photo is demonstrate how you can use this feature with selection areas, and also how you can work around the fact that you can't use this pattern on a transparent layer. So let me start here by coming over and creating a new layer, and I'll name this green wall one and hit the enter key. So this is just a transparent layer. And what I'll do is come over and grab my selection tool, so the rectangle select tool, and I'm just gonna loosely draw this rectangle. I've already created the guides ahead of time, so that will snap to the guides. So if I hit Shift B on my keyboard, 
I've got my pattern fill here set to maple leaves still. So if I fill this in, so as you can see, I can use the bucket fill tool on a transparent layer, except it looks horrible. So what I'll do now is click on my rectangle select tool again and click inside this original rectangle and just click and drag this over. And if I hold control and shift and release, that'll drag that over in a straight line. So the easiest way to do this is to just click and drag a random color here inside the selection area first. And then we can go to edit, fill with pattern seamless. And we'll just go with the maple leaves pattern and click OK. So now we have our seamless pattern inside the selection area. I'll hit Control Shift A to deselect that. So here you can see a direct comparison between these two methods. Obviously the one on the right looks way more realistic. Finally, you can use this feature on a text layer. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. I'll come over here to this composition, which contains a line of text. So I don't have to do anything first. I can do this directly on the text layer itself. So I'll go to edit, fill with pattern seamless. Let's choose a different one here. Let's go with I actually haven't tried this wood one yet, so I'll go with that and I'll click OK. So there you can see we have realistic looking wood. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button and also click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can also check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.